All right, I hinted at the shortcut already. We have three times three tenths. I told you that we can just multiply three times three to find the total number of those kind of parts. You multiply three times three, and that's how many tenths you will get. So the answer is just nine tenths. Let's try this one next. Four times fifteen hundredths. Okay, hundredths. That's the kind of parts we have. And if you take four times 15 of them, then you go four times 15 to get the total number of hundredths. And we get 60 hundredths. And then nine times two fifths, okay? Using our shortcut, we go nine times two, 18. And that's how many fifths we have. But that's more than one whole. Can you change that into a mixed number? 18 fifths. Think this way. Each five-fifths makes one whole pie. So five-fifths, 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 if that would be fifteen-fifths. So we get three whole pies, those fifteen-fifths, and then three-fifths after that. One last one. Five-fourths times four. Now we have the whole number here and the fraction here, but this is still the same as four times five-fourths. Four copies of five-fourths, because in multiplication you can change the order of the factors. So I still go four times five as my shortcut, and I get twenty-fourths. Okay, now how many whole pies do we get out of that, if each four-fourths makes a whole pie? And this time you can look at it as a division problem. Twenty divided by four equals five. This is exactly five whole pies. We're going to triple this recipe. It means make it three times. If it is maybe a cookie recipe, flour, sugar, stuff like that. Oh, Matt is saying it must be a blueberry cookie recipe. Well, yeah, maybe, but it doesn't have blueberries. Oh, okay, add blueberries to the recipe. Okay. How much? Three cups? No, I can't do that. It wouldn't. <laughs> oh, Matthew, let's just make it. Two thirds of a cup. Okay. Now, triple three times. Okay, take this number three times. This is a mixed number, two and one fourth. But you can simply go three times two and three times that. So we would get three times two is six, of course. And then three times one fourth, we get three fourths. Okay, that was easy. Two eggs times three. Ah, well, six eggs. And this one times three. Okay, you go three times three. Three times three is nine. And that's how many fourths we get. Nine fourths cup of sugar. But, okay, here we need to change this into a mixed number. Okay, we wouldn't have a nine fourths in a recipe. This makes how many whole cups? Should be two, right? And one fourth cup. Okay, half a teaspoon of baking soda times three. Okay, half times three would be three halves, like that. But again, we need to write it as a mixed number. So let's write it as one and a half. And that's teaspoons. And then half a cup of butter. Okay, half, half. It's going to be the same thing here. One and a half, right? But cups, cups of butter. And lastly, the blueberries. Two thirds of a cup times three. Okay, we get three times two is six, six thirds. And that is what, as a mixed number? Actually, it's gonna be a whole number. Six divided by three is exactly two. So two cups of blueberries goes into the triple recipe. Okay, are you ready to go eat, Matthew? Sure, of course. Okay, well done with this lesson. <laughs>